market to run the games it is minus 24. Chiefs versus the Titans. And this will be week 11. If we win this, we will be 11 and 1. We lose, and we'll be 10 and 2. I'm not going to talk a bunch on this because bad things happen. And it still will. But I'm going to shut up here just for the first quarter and see what happens so the titans set to go to work for the first time and leading them out there we get a look at their six three quarterback Throwing to start the drive. Brooks. On the slant, he's got Hardman. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early. Something safe. Something they're confident about. Something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. Steps away to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And I think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Back to throw. Brooks. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Multiple players getting home there, and it's a loss of two on the sack. What a great job getting pressure here on the... The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is. And if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing. The answer can be yes, because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going. But what the veterans are telling the young guys in the locker room, an open week is always good, guys. Take it, and let's go with it. Now Brooks to throw. Throwing on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. Looking to throw. Brooks. Throw here taken in by Wiley, the tight end. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. The Titans at 10 and 1 now on the year. And I tell you, it has been a few months now since they've tasted defeat, and they are without question the hottest team in football. And I'm really not sure who's going to beat them right now because to me, they have to be the favorites to go all the way because they're not just beating teams, they're dominating them. It's been fun to watch them play. Not just in their winning, but how they're getting it done. Here's second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That's caught left side by Hardman. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 27-yard line. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man in the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there and it's second down. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13, down to the 13. First and 10 in the red zone. And that last throw puts him over 5,000 yards passing now on the season already. Some rarefied air with numbers like that. Well, don't keep the oxygen just for yourself. Pass something over to me, my friend, because give him the back. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to Sam back at the 16-yard line. Milton Williams 
collapses the pocket and drops him for a loss of three. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here to be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with him. Third and four. Back to throw. Brooks. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And he won't get close. Only a yard. Fourth and three. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eye. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much, because you're right. You get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry it with them for essentially two weeks. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also, he didn't get a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. He's got a man, complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And chalk that one up as a gain of 34 on third down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Back to throw again. That's to the tight end, Wiley. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Had to man that time, they ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it and steady fire, an absolute bullet. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 23. They'll look to throw again. And it's a Titans touchdown. Derrick Henry with career touchdown number 163. That moves him past LT and into third place all time. And the Titans are an extra point away now from moving out in front. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific. He threw his league-leading 40th touchdown pass of the year on their last drive, and they start again here with a first and 10. to the thrown football. The throw over the middle, taken in. They'll be dropped after a game of about six across the 30 to the 31. I know the whole time's approaching, but I don't think he's going to be able to take a break. That's his big catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Out of the gun now on third down. 
and takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for a thousand? Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Now a second and ten. Operating from the gun, Brooks. Catch is made by Hardman. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 36. A good pick up there, a 22. So now first and 10 in Chiefs' territory at the 36. And he's taken down, a Chiefs sack. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Play action. Brooks. He finds his man complete. That's Phillips. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 19. That one goes for 24 yards. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Operating from the gun. Brooks. Throwing left side. It's complete. And yeah, the Titans are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Off the play fake. Brooks to the goal line, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. He got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Looking to throw. Brooks. That's to Burks, and he's got it. Touchdown, Tennessee. Target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. To throw again. Brooks eluding the pressure right. Able to shake him off. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. The Titans on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Here's Brooks on first and ten. He's got Derrick Henry again, back-to-back -back catches. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. From the 41, here's a second and four. Back to throw. Brooks. He gets this with the Brooks. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. 
Second and ten. Looking to throw. Brooks. And his throw is going to be incomplete. But it looked like a march to the end zone. He's hit a momentary roadblock block with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get the offense back on track. Brooks to throw on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 29-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. They go play action here on first down. Across the formation, Hardman gets a completion. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. A good pickup there, 21 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Now Brooks, operating from the go. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Back to throw, Brooks. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Josh Wiley from eight yards out as his guys are able to extend their lead. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's... So here are the Titans to take over on offense. They've got the lead yet again in this ball game with their winning streak right now sitting at 10. Now Brooks to throw. Throwing to start the drive. Throwing into traffic there, and that's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Looking to throw. Brooks. This will go to Henry out wide. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down, and finish this one off. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Look like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense is ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw. Brooks. He opted to go with a scramble. Gets two yards, and now it's fourth. They've got on defense rolling up the nickel package for that big third down play, and he did an excellent job locking down coverage and four... Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the brave. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. Brooks now, throwing again. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Phillips. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down.
Looking to throw. Brooks. He dumps it off for Henry. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them. They also get those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. Here's Brooks on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A big play that time on the catch and run. And it'll give him a fresh set of downs. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. The throw on the quick slant going to be complete. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Back to throw. Brooks. And he'll get this complete to Henry. And he will have a Titans first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up the first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? He stiff arms it. That good for 19 and a first down. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell him to back off of being aggressive. But sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose. And just as you said, cost some yardage. And yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. You know, when this offense gets down here near the end zone, they're going to turn to their bell cow, and this guy's been a touchdown machine all year. Excellent job stopping him there on first down. Brooks looking to throw on second down. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Titans are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. So a heck of a drive right there with the game potentially hanging in the balance. A very good drive, and now a conversion to make it a two-score game and a solid lead. So I haven't been talking. Uh, we're doing pretty good. I'm just keeping myself focused on the game. So they'll be looking to string together a few so, first downs, likely on the ground. I hope you're still enjoying it. Attempt. And if you haven't done it already, please leave a like and subscribe if I earned it. Throwing to start the drive. Brooks. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. The coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, but when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he'll be knocked to the turf right there, but they're across the 50 at the 48 now. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Looking to throw. Brooks. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. 
Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. That will toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he'll be brought You see Phillips doing tiptoeing? That's pretty uh so he was trying to make sure you get that first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Throw here taken in by Wiley, the tight end. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll buy some time right. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. So second and goal, and the big man Henry alone in the backfield. Rolling to his right. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last lap by baiting the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. Henry. Powering his way into the end zone. It's a touchdown. Ooh, I thought I almost made a bad call there. Oh, he's getting kind of on Henry to rush it in. Derrick Henry's size, 6'3", nearly 250. You know he's not shying away from contact. And here he just kept the defender at arm's length as he barreled his way into the end zone. I mean, just put that arm into the chest. And there he goes. They'll try and run it in with Henry. And the second wave of tackles. Except that time. It's okay, though. During that run, We're still in a good position. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field. But they can thank their defense for another stop. And now, look at the score, where they've got the football. They're looking pretty good. They're looking excellent. They'll start by running the option to the right. A strong running. <laughs> and he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Another run on second down. Trying to cover up. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And he is going to lose yardage here. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now it looks like he'll throw here toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Yeah. 
An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Henry up the middle, trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. Not at all what they envisioned on third down, three yards in the wrong direction. So no shortage of offense. We were gonna win regardless. Two, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so. They wouldn't even made enough points, even in, in less than two minutes. They're 22. We were 34. They were at six points, but then they can get a field goal that makes it seven, and now they can get a sub for two point. It only what a thirty, and that it still have been a wrap. So it doesn't really matter. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this game. I did because I won, and everything was okay, and no interceptions this time. Anyways. If you, I, if you did enjoy this, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below. Sorry I stumbled on my words. I'm very good at that. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Well, we're in the bracket. Sorry, this is from the games, and this is just a short video. A look at, at the playoffs started today. This is what it looked like. We're in the wild card. Oh boy, that's not good. We might not be in that this uh, ball game, but hopefully we will win. I guess. Oh, I'm looking at this wrong. Oh wait, yeah. If we beat the Buffalo Bills, we're in. Then the other two teams have to fight, get into the next two zones down there. Okay. So the Steelers are number one, was no surprise, they're undefeated. And I bet those are the captains over there. And no surprise there, because they're undefeated. That's good and all, but that means more stress on me if we beat the Buffalo Bills. Yes. But that's all I was showing. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.